Good morning, it's your boy Jay Gold, Orange Cactus Coffee. Back at it again with you with a new coffee that the missus picked up at uh, Costco. I'd say it was an excellent impulse purchase. Maybe it wasn't an impulse purchase because the goal was to get some coffee. But this is this is what we ended up with right here. Big Shoulders Coffee. And I thought it was so cute. Doesn't it look like a Hershey Kiss? Hershey's Kiss? I think I got that at Mariano's. This, so picked it up at Mariano's and I think it was a great impulse buy. And look at this, so cute. Mm -hmm. Big Shoulders Coffee. It looks like a Hershey's Kiss, I thought. Kind of the, 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 the flavor, the flavor, the style, the colors, those kinds of things. So this is an El Salvador, lightly roasted with notes of sweet stone fruit and tangerine. I thought that was pretty cool. Instead of having like the typical like list of flavor notes, right? Sometimes and then, uh, and then just like the roast level, they put it into a sentence. And I thought that was pretty clever. I thought that was pretty good uh, writing there. You know, you put all the information, you just kind of have a conversation about the coffee. I thought that was good. I like that. Instead of just light roast, plum, tangerine, watermelon, you know, whatever the, the flavor is. So I'm doing the 33, 500, getting my little uh, swirl, dirty swirly, getting my dirty swirly going. Where's my spoon? There it is. Through the magic of video editing, there's my spoon. So... Mm. It's not bad. I asked her to look for something that was a little older. So this one was, was roasted in January because I wanted to be able to put it on in the espresso machine without having difficulty. So it, it's a, just, a, just a tinge older, but uh, we're going to check it out. I think it's still going to be good. And we're going to try it on espresso. Not right now, not today. Don't get worried. I know you were worried there. You're like, wait a second. We're going to do espresso today as well? No, no, we're just doing this. I'm pouring too fast. Trying to... Hmm. Trying to get the 500 here, but I think maybe... Besides the fact that I'm pouring too fast, it might just be draining a little bit slower as well, which is fine. Almost there. Boom, 500. I'm gonna scrape the sides, get all the kids in the pool. Not a whole lot of kids hanging out. It's a good school right here. This is a good school. Not a lot of wallflowers. They all get along. They all want to kick it together. Look at that. They're all on the dance floor. Every coffee ground to the dance floor, to the dance floor, to the dance floor. So while that's going, got my Vortex of Awesome Hog Butcher for the World. Tool maker, stacker of wheat, player with railroads, and the nation's freight handler. Stormy, husky, Brawly, brawling city of the big shoulders. I got it. That is Chicago, right? I mean, that's Chicago. Is that the, the city of big shoulders? I thought that was Philadelphia. Was that the city of brotherly love? I have no idea. You're holding in your hands exactly 12 ounces of fresh, no nonsense artisan coffee. The beans we chose were painstakingly selected. The roasting process was meticulous. In short, we spread, we spared no effort to ensure that the coffee that went into this bag was the best it could possibly be. Full, oh, I didn't get, come on there. There we go. Full distinctive character, subtle nuances, and lively flavor, which is the Big Shoulders way. I gotta assume that the city, but I'm new, that the, the city of Big Shoulders gotta be Chicago. I mean, we bought it, it's a local coffee, so that's gotta be, right? Right? I think it's a Chicago on it. I think they have coffee shops here in Chicago, yeah. Big Shoulders Coffee, Chicago, Illinois. Uh, so it's gotta be the city of Big Shoulders. Well, hey, welcome to Chicago, also known as the city of Big Shoulders. So, you fit right in. Gotta be, gotta be. There we go. My little tasters. But I was just, you know, you don't find a whole lot of light roasted coffee. And you don't find, 
And I, I like, I do like the fact that they say, well, it's artisan. Because I, I think we, we struggle, right, to set ourselves aside. Third wave coffee, is it uh, specialty coffee? Specialty, of course, has its own definition. Does anybody know what it is? It's like coffees that are rated certain percentages by the Specialty Coffee Association. And then you say, well, how did they get to those numbers? And, you know, does that really describe what it is? Or does that, does that um, talk about what the, the value that the roaster added to it? It's just, so artisan, I'm good with artisan. I'm good with oh, look at that. That could have been bad. Coffee to go, coffee for me. Well, I think we're looking for a stone fruit and tangerine. Sweet stone fruit and tangerine. Sweet stone fruit and tangerine. Yeah, I think I see that. See that, taste that, smell that, feel that, observe that. Yeah, that's really good. Stone fruit, tangerine, I probably wouldn't have guessed tangerine. If it was a blind tasting test, I probably would have said stone fruit, peach, nectarine. Nectarine, I probably would have gone nectarine. Oh, I think that's the stone fruit. Yeah, but if I that's fruit. if I were if I were doing the flavor descriptors, mm -hmm. I probably would have gone a little more specific on the stone fruit, and I probably wouldn't have brought the tangerine over to the party. But sweet stone fruit and tangerine, yeah, this is really really good. Thanks, babe. Great job, great job discovering Big Shoulders Coffee and Big Shoulders Coffee. Thank you for the education about Chicago's nicknames and for. Uh, Roasting a great coffee. This is really exciting, really delicious. I'd never heard of them, and now I can't hardly wait to go visit them. So hope you have a wonderful day and a great rest of your week.